Is Black Magic joining the Elmount Alliance? If rumors are true, this changes everything. My name is Edmund. I'm a director of photography based in Tulsa, Oklahoma. My goal for this channel is to provide educational and practical resources for filmmakers and video creators. Today, we're going to talk about Black Magic design in a lens mount developed by Leica, the Elmount. Over the last few days, I've heard rumors about a new Black Magic cinema camera which by itself is exciting. But if the rumors are true, it means that Blackmagic is going to change the prosumer market. Currently, Blackmagic cameras are either equipped with a Super 35 sensor or a Micro Four Third sensor. They either come with or can be modified with a Micro Four Thirds mount, an EF mount, a PL mount, or a B4 broadcast mount. In short, there is only one Blackmagic cinema camera that has a mirrorless mount, and it is paired with a Micro Four Thirds sensor. So why would an L-Mount Pocket 6K Pro G2 or an L-Mount Ursa Mini Pro G3 change the prosumer market? First, we've got to look at the mount that Blackmagic most commonly uses with their cameras, the EF mount. The flange focal distance for Canon's EF mount is 44 millimeters. This is a relatively long flange distance, and it is a result of the EF mount being designed for SLR and DSLR cameras. Some may say the EF mount is a thing of the past. Let's talk about lens adaptability. It's physically impossible to adapt lenses designed for shorter flange distances to the Canon EF mount. These lenses include modern day mirrorless lenses, as well as a variety of cinema and vintage lenses. Lenses are adapted the other way around, where you have a lens that was designed for a long flange distance adapted to a camera with a short flange distance. And this is done with an adapter that provides a little extra space. And that's why this is exciting, because that little bit of extra space changes everything. So what are the benefits? The benefit of the extra space is that you can use it for important tools. This includes focal reducers, which are commonly known as speed boosters, adapters with variable ND filters or drop-in filters, as well as the ability to use an adapter with unique mounts like PL, LPL, and more. Okay, so that's great. But we already have this with the Fujifilm X-H2S or the Sony FX30. Why would a black magic cinema camera with a mirrorless mount be any different? Here's why. Black Magic implemented ND filters in the Pocket 6K Pro, which cost only $2,500. Other camera manufacturers with a feature like built-in ND filters charge $5,000 or more. This means that if the 6K Pro G2 is a mirrorless mount with ND filters, it punches far above its weight and literally destroys the competition. But is it possible? The DJI Ronin 4D is an L-mount camera with a full-frame sensor, and it includes nine stops of built-in ND. So it's already been proven that there are no physical limitations with the L-mount, which means that Blackmagic has no reason to not include ND filters if they go with the L-mount. Great, another cinema camera with a mirrorless mount and built-in NDs. What's the big deal? Well, I've just described the Canon C70, which cost $5,500. And with Blackmagic's history, I'm pretty sure that their camera is going to be much more affordable. Now let's talk about using a focal reducer with the cinema camera with a mirrorless mount. Decrease focal length. It reduces the effective focal length of the lens, hence the name focal reducer. This means that you get a wider field of view than you would get using the lens without the reducer. Increase aperture. A focal reducer also increases the effective aperture of the lens, making it faster. This allows more light to reach the sensor and thus increases the lens's speed. That's also why it's called a speed booster. Focal reducers are commonly used when using lenses that were designed for a full frame sensor to adapt to a camera with a Super 35 sensor, an APS-C sensor, or a Micro Four Thirds sensor. 
Without the reducer, the smaller sensor crops the image, increasing the focal length and decreasing the field of view. The focal reducer allows you to use more of the lens's original field of view and gather more light, making the lens act more like it would on a full frame camera. So what does that mean? It means that you'll have a camera that outperforms all of the cameras in its price range. You'll have a camera that's much like a Canon C70 for half the price. And it means that young and aspiring filmmakers and video creators will be able to adapt lenses to their camera that they previously couldn't. And it means that filmmakers will have another tool in their arsenal. But maybe the rumors aren't true. But if they are, Blackmagic is going to set a precedence in the prosumer market, which means that other manufacturers are going to have to compete with them which means that there will be more cinema camera features in prosumer cameras. What this means is that we are entering a time where professional cinema camera features are no longer exclusive to cameras that cost more than your car. For me, this is very exciting, and I hope that you're excited too. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to my channel for more educational and practical resources for filmmakers and video creators. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. I'll see you soon.